If you're turned this way, then the defense can get you. So you would turn that one. Good. Good. So I would say that growing up and for most of my college experience, my life revolved around basketball. That's what people knew me for. That's what I was good at. I was Alex the basketball player. And I was proud of that. It was the thing I woke up for at five o'clock in the morning, whether it be in a gym or traveling on road trips, all of it revolved around basketball. It was the one thing that I knew for sure that I had in life that wouldn't let me down. Throughout my life, I've had a lot of injuries. It's just a sad reality of being an athlete. And so I've always just had to learn how to get back on my feet, get back in the game and just kind of move on. But on December 13th, I found out the thing that I loved more than anything in this world was being taken away from me. I had completely torn through my lateral meniscus and the doctor told me that I would never be able to play competitive basketball ever again. My life had completely changed without any sort of warning. It wasn't what I wanted my life to look like. This isn't what I envisioned for my senior year. Honestly, for a long time, I felt like I had no purpose anymore. It's hard, it's sad, and as difficult and painful as it was at times, I have an overwhelming sense of thankfulness and gratitude. It was incredible to see this entire community come around me, my teammates, my professors, everybody. I truly felt outpouring love from this entire Point Loma family. They spoke life into me and really put me in my place that just because you're injured doesn't mean you no longer matter. And so I decided that if I couldn't play, that I wanted to make those around me the best that they could possibly be. Through my injury, I have realized what true compassion and kindness is and how to love and serve those around me. I am so much more than just Alex the basketball player. The entire Point Loma community cared about me as Alex Brunk the human being, Alex Brunk the daughter of God.